næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. Yesterday night, I looked at the stars in a clear night sky. It seemed to me that one of the stars were moving. At first, I thought that it was an airplane, but then I noticed that the other stars also moved. It reminded me of a famous old experiment about people seeing movements that were not really there. I also came to think of another old experiment with a picture that can be seen as a vase and also as two profiles looking at each other. In this video, I will tell you what I found out about these things. In the pictures, you see a night sky as I saw it and the vase figure. My mini research told me that the moving star was the so-called autokinetic effect. The autokinetic effect is a phenomenon where a stationary point of light in a dark environment appears to move. This effect occurs because when there are no surrounding reference points, your brain has difficulty determining whether the light is stationary or moving. When you focus on a single point of light in the night sky, it can appear to wiggle or drift, even though it's not actually moving. This phenomenon has been studied in various psychological experiments. The Rubens vase or Rubens figure ground illusion is an optical illusion created by Danish psychologist Edgar Rubin. In this illusion, a single two-dimensional image can be interpreted in two different ways. It can be seen as a vase or as two profiles facing each other in silhouette. This illusion demonstrates the concept of figure ground perception, where your brain alternates between two possible interpretations of the same image. The autokinetic effect was first systematically studied by Russian psychologist Solomon Ash in the early 1950s. He conducted experiments to investigate how people perceive the movement of a stationary point of light in a dark room. Ash's work on the autokinetic effect is widely recognized as the seminal research on this phenomenon. The vase figure was developed by the Danish researcher Edgar John Rubin, 1886-1951, around 1915. He was a psychologist-slash-phenomenologist, remembered for his work on figure-ground perception as seen in such optical illusions as the Rubin vase. Rubin was born and raised in Copenhagen. Enrolling at the University of Copenhagen in 1904, he majored in psychology and finished his Magister Artium examination in philosophy in 1910. These two phenomena are classic examples of how our perception can be influenced by the absence of clear reference points or by ambiguous visual stimuli. They have been subjects of study in psychology to understand how our brains process visual information and how our perceptions can be shaped by context and sensory input. I have used the vase figure in my teaching of leaders. You show them the picture in the classroom, then send them in small groups to discuss if the vase shows two persons talking to each other or is just a vase. Afterward, in the classroom, we discussed how the process was in the groups. Who dominated? Who was submissive? And as you now know, there is no right answer to that. So, it showed who had a dominant nature and who had a submissive nature. Finally, I give some literature references to the two phenomena. References on the autokinetic effect. Ash, S.D., 1946. Forming Impressions of Personality. Journal of Abnormal and Social Psychology, 41, 3, 258 to 290. Sharif, M., 1935. A Study of Some Social Factors in Perception. Archives of Psychology, 27, 187, 1 to 60. And to Rubin's vase figure. Rubin, E., 1915. Since a plevied figure, steadier I psychologist analyze. Gildendalsk Bach Handel, Nordisk for lag. Rubin, E., 1958. Visual Warn Among. Reprinted in English as Visual Perception, an introduction, W. D. Ellis, Transactions. New York, Van Nostrand Reinhold, 1969. These references should provide you with further insights into the original research on the autokinetic effect and Rubin's vase, as well as their significance in the field of psychology. Thank you for watching this video. Use Rubin's vase figure to stimulate discussions among your friends and family. And I give my usual song, please subscribe.